So we were genetically counseled and you know, we were also, so anyway, so then we were also introduced to, oh, sorry. I'm just going to hold my phone from here, but um, we were also genetically um, counseled on the whole art of PGD. Now, PGD is um, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, and basically what that is, it's, um, so it's basically you have to do IVF. And then once you've done IVF and they've created the embryo from the sperm and the egg in a tea tree dish, what they do is once you get your embryos, they can actually screen out and remove those embryos that have Marfan syndrome. So when we were first exposed to that idea, Jason and I were like, you know what, that's the route that we're going to take we're going to do PGD all the way. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do IVF. And you know what, hon? You don't even have to worry about me because I get my periods every 28 days and I'm probably a great, you know, I could probably do IVF in like a heartbeat because I'm, I'm, everything's normal down there. Well, <laughs> little did we know that that was the case. So, we talked a lot about the options of how we would go forward with our pregnancy and the fact that our baby could have Marfan syndrome. And, you know, flash forward to today where I, and, and you'll hear my journey, but in the end, we ended up doing IUI and we are going to try naturally, or sorry, try the three rounds of IUI and if the baby has Marfan syndrome we will you know if it if if it grabs that gene of the 50% you know if it grabs the the 50% chance of having Marfan syndrome we will raise that baby and love it with all our heart now if the three rounds of IUI don't work for me and and, and that doesn't i mean I, we could end up having the baby and it doesn't even have Marfan syndrome, but Jason and I have decided that we are going to actually Ray, you know, keep the baby and have the baby regardless if it has Marfans or not. Now, if I do end up doing IVF, we have, we may consider PGD because it's just an extra step in the IVF process and, but that's something that I kind of don't want to get to. Like, I, I, I don't want to have to do IVF if I can get pregnant before, hopefully, these three IUI rounds. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know our story. So, yeah. Um, I probably am forgetting a lot of stuff. So, really, our family planning journey started in September of 2010 when we were faced with the fact that our baby could have Marfan syndrome and, and what we had to do as a couple and the options that we had to kind of figure out, you know, do we keep a baby with Marfan syndrome or do we raise it and accept that it has this just like Jason has accepted that he has Marfan syndrome and, and he's led a great life and he's a wonderful person and so all those ethical issues have definitely gone through our mind and stuff and it drives you crazy and it crushes your heart and like I said ladies this is like that was September of 2010 and we were just starting to talk about you know family planning now a couple of months after that then I would find out that I have endometriosis. So um, I'll get to my story soon. But I hope you ladies, I, I'm sorry, I know this is a really kind of dark vlog and not really the most shiny or cheery, perky blog that I'm, I'm usually am. But I just wanted to let you ladies know 
Jason's journey with Marfan syndrome and how that has affected our family planning. And if you guys have any questions about our journey with that, please email me. Please feel free to email me and I will answer all your answers. But in the meantime, please take a look um, at Jason's write-up that he did for the Canadian Marfan Association with him dealing with Marfan syndrome and um, you'll get a little bit of a background as to how he found out and how it's affected his life. All right, ladies, so I wish all of you a great evening and thank you all for, you know, all your positive messages and the new subscribers that I got in the past couple of days. I'm so blessed to have you ladies on these days where I feel really down and in terms of how I'm feeling, honest to God ladies, like other than my freaking emotional craziness and just like being the devil in front of Jason, I have not felt any pregnancy symptoms and it freaks me out because I just, there's nothing more that I want to, that I want to do is be a mom and I know you guys relate to this and it's scary because I get these fears that I'm never going to be a mom one day and I need to stop that because you know what? We will be moms one day and we will experience it through our belly. And so, yeah. Anyway, so that was Jason's story with Marfan syndrome. Stay tuned as I tell you my journey and how I found out with, that I had stage four endometriosis. All right, ladies, I'm really sorry this isn't very a happy vlog, but I just wanted to let you ladies know this story and our journey. All right, have a great evening and stay tuned for part two. Kiara finds out she has endometriosis four months, right? Yeah, four months after Jason finds out that he's officially a Marfan. Bye ladies.